Well, good morning, everyone. I interrupt this usual Green Dream Project broadcast in order to bring you a very special PSA Snake Prevention Day. Now, today is July 13th. I'm wearing my Crystal Lake shirt in celebration, but I, al I also have declared today National Homestead Snake Prevention Day. <laughs> At least it is here on our homestead. Now, just on the heels of the Pete Wrangles a rattlesnake video, we actually had another rattlesnake underneath our trailer. Very upsetting. <laughs> and needless to say, I discovered this thing when we were just a couple feet away. It's kind of scary. So today, we're going to just go over a couple of things about what we're going to do to help prevent snakes in the future. Come along, let's check it out. So we're gonna be taking some, our, some of our own advice from the previous video. And one of the first activities we're gonna be doing here on Snake Prevention Day is using the hedge trimmer over here and just cutting down some of this long grass underneath the trailer just to reduce some of those hiding spots. Now that Pete's done using the trimmer in this area, I'm gonna go back over with the rake and just get some of that loose grass out of there. Then we'll be able to use that for mulch. So we cut up just some of the grass around the two RVs that are out here now. And just from that grass that we cut and raked up, we got this mulch pit pretty much filled. Not a bad amount of mulch for just a little, for just a little cutting around the uh, RVs. It's looking good. Another thing we'll be doing is just getting rid of some of the stuff that's just been collecting around the trailer. Like this old appliance, Hot. This bag of cans. These old cow bones. So some friends of ours stopped over today as well on Snake Prevention Day. And they brought this over as a possible suggestion. Possible snake repellent. It, the active ingredient is uh, several different oils. Cinnamon oil, castor oil, peppermint oil. And I think just putting this around is supposed to uh, prevent snakes from wanting to even go near the area. So this is definitely something we might give a try. I also wanted to give my chickens a little added protection. I already have this little fortress built for them, which has been working out pretty well so far. We haven't had any problems with predators or anything. But what I'm thinking is uh, putting some barbed wire around the bottom along the ground, uh, kind of attaching it to this enclosure. And I'm thinking snakes aren't gonna wanna crawl over the bar barbed wire. Something else that we're gonna utilize just in case of emergencies, in case we do find another rattlesnake around here, is we bought a small, small hook with uh, some holes in it. And then we're gonna use that to attach it to probably a piece of wood or something like that. And just kind of make like a makeshift snake hook that we can use to pull them out of underneath the RV or whatnot. Hopefully we won't have to use something like that, but just in case of emergency purposes. So that's just a few tips for snake prevention day. The last thing we might wanna do is some of the material that we used for the roof that ended up flying off. 
we might end up using that to put up along the sides of the trailers as like a skirt. It's just an idea we're thinking of just to prevent any unwanted critters from getting underneath there. All right, just a few tips that we've been trying to put into practice on Snake Prevention Day. Thanks for joining us. Maybe that'll help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Definitely subscribe because you'll want to keep up to date on what we're doing here. And as always, thanks for watching. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks a lot, everyone. You know what? I don't think that sounds good. It was. Ha, ha, ha.